The main thing for the athletes is to have only skills, to have no weakness, especially in competition. So they need to be ready for everything. You know, as I'm hanging there in the top hold, I can, I can hear the clock ticking down, and I'm like, please, <laughs> just please, like something. Previously, like setting in Sweden and for competitions there, from being one of the most experienced setters to coming into an environment where I'm the least experienced on the team. There's like a whole slew of emotions that come up around that. Because this is the first opportunity to see if I have what it takes to both set boulders at this level, but also that I have the climbing level to test boulders at this level and to do it quickly and efficiently. It's been a while since I've been a beginner in this way, but I'm extremely excited to both do my best, but also like just try and learn as much as possible. Yes, yes, yes. No, so close. Uh, I think he, he, he does that first. He does that first for the momentum, and then he changes at the last moment. You know what I mean? Yes. To have the better, uh, to have the better balance. Okay, it's better for the momentum. Okay, la, la, okay. Up and down. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> got it. Nice. Almost. Very cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh? So yeah, we're gonna we're testing on Jackie's palm behind me. This yellow, the swing into no hands. It's cool. Is that scary? It's like if you do it right, it's fine. It goes like a walk in the park. If you mess it up, it gets real scary real fast. Um, but it's really cool having uh, like the legend himself on this like on this team. Because the amount of just like really good feedback and perspective that he brings to competitions is just invaluable. Like I wanted to meet and set with him more than anyone else. So it's like yeah, for me it's a dream come true that I've worked with him before and then also that I'm working with him like for my first time doing a European Cup. But the idea of the boulder was, uh, oh, it was not mine. They asked me to do something with the dino, so you kind of learn how to move, uh, and then stop with no hand. So it was the idea with this big volume, uh, very dynamic, very risky, not really hard, but hard to do at first try. And then the second part, uh, dynamic, risky. So at the end, it worked. At the moment, uh, quite well, I would say. So we have to make the last adjustment to make it in the exact right level that we expect for the pump. But it's quite cool. Yeah. Looks like it works. No, I don't want to make a... Ooh, smooth! Okay, it's too much. Allez. Yes. It's cool, huh? Oh, it's cool, huh? Hey, allez, allez. Whoa. Yes. That's I think it's doable. Yes. Yep. Yeah, because if you fall on the volume, Ooh. yeah, she crash. Uh, oh, for me, I think it has to be more safe. Yes. The top. So I will, I will take care about this. I think the this step plus this step is maybe enough to for the bull. Ah, voilà, ok. So now it's a little bit too good. Huh? A little bit. A little bit too good? Mm, I think this was still good. Like, I really yes. had to fight to okay. hold it. Maybe for the top hold, we go back to the original rotation. Okay. I, I like it a lot because it's dynamic moves into control and feeling. So normally we have a lot of dynamic uh, that you go like no control and you just destroy the holes. And on this one, you need to find the balance. And after, it's double catch, but also you need a lot of body control. So yeah, I like it. And I think it will be nice, yeah. <laughs> Ali, amigo. Ali, ali, si. ali, 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 yes, si. ali, ali. Ooh, power. Woohoo! Hey, eta, limit, huh? Eh, hey, limit de qua, ya, yeah. que limit de qua. Que si. Se hiper, se hiper.
There's another five boulders that we set earlier today for the men's qualification round. Boulder number two is my boulder. We needed a pure power block, so I decided to make a hard compression boulder. So both uh, Sario and Killian helped me a lot for testing this, and uh, I think we're pretty confident that this feels like the right level, and that it will be like a good power test for the round. Boulder number three is Jackie's technical slab block. It has a tricky start and then a heartbreaking crux ending. We suspect that a lot of the competitors will get to the last move. We don't think a lot of them are going to do that. It's quite a specific position they have to be in, so it should be tricky for them to figure it out in four minutes. Boulder number four is a pretty straightforward dyno, but it's tricky because the hole that you're jumping to is dual techs, and it requires a very specific way to hold it. And then the top, there's a couple ways that you can do it actually with different betas, but there's also a lot of ways to mess it up. Boulder number five is a lot of climbing on slippery dual text holds with a lot of pretty terrible feet. So it's very like delicate technical climbing, but also very position dependent. The true crux is actually gonna be the top because you're there and you just wanna go and you just wanna grab it because you're so close. But you really have to slow down, take your time and find the exact position and then just control it completely. Boulder number six, it's like a power crimp test piece. It's, I think the big characterizing feature of this is like a big dyno between crimps. The crux will definitely be for a lot of people is the jump. It's kind of blind, it's a big move. So I think we're gonna see a lot of people struggle there. I also wanna tell you about the format. This is actually the first time that they're using a new format. What it's gonna be is that there's no isolation zone for the competitors in the qualification. They get videos of all the boulders the night before. They can study them as much as they want. And during the competition itself, they can be out in the hall. They can talk with other competitors, discuss beta. So we're not really sure how the competitor's gonna react. I'm definitely feeling the pressure, but I know that Sergio is feeling the most pressure out of all of us. It's his first time being chief root setter at a European Cup. As chief, you're responsible for all of the decisions that will decide the outcome of the competition, and there's a lot of pressure that comes from that. Okay, so now we're live. Hey. This is Frederick, if you haven't met him before. He's gonna Hi. crush this competition. Hi. 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 <laughs> but uh, we're psyching ourselves up, so we're gonna go warm up and get ready for the comp. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's very strange, because uh, usually in competitions you never get to see the boulders beforehand. So you don't really know what to warm up on. But now, I know the second boulder looks really hard. And it has like this backswing move into a jug where you have to really engage your bicep. And like knowing this already in warm up means that I want to recruit that as much as possible. Which just creates this kind of weird warm up where I'm focusing a little bit on what I'm going to use out there later on. But yeah, power is getting there, slowly but steadily. I'm out as number four, so uh, yeah, I guess it's early. I mean, um, I guess if you're later, you're gonna get more beta, but if you're early, you might get better friction, so. I think it's fine. Okay, yeah, so the, the men's quali has just started. So we're seeing, yeah, like the first athletes come out. We have uh, Freddy Selakius, who's climbing uh, next on the first of the men's. But yeah, I mean, it's super early to tell, but it seems like the level is okay. Cool. So yeah, we'll see if he can get, a, get enough momentum and time it correctly. A little bit more. But yeah, I mean it's hard because you're doing uh, like a swing with a lot of momentum, but you need to land in no hands. You have some assistance by grabbing the box, but not a lot. So it's a really it's a fine balance between not enough and then going too hard. 
Fred. Come in, Fred. All right, let's see if we can get a, a little bit more height. It's going into the one-two sequence. Come in, Fred. Oh. Come in, Frederick. Come on. Ah. Let's start again. Ah, okay, one more try. For the last 10 seconds. Ah, okay. Super so smart. to the top is not easy. Cool stuff. So Frederick is waiting on boulder number four right now. He knows at this point in the competition that he needs three tops to secure his place in the semi-finals. We just saw him send boulder number three in a way that we did not think was possible when we were testing, which was super impressive. So coming off of that, I think that he has a lot of confidence. So you're going from a send into a new boulder. As we know, this boulder, it looks straightforward, but we also know that the jump to the dual text, it's not super simple. You need to hit it in just the right way. And the top as well, it's definitely is possible to drop it. So it'll be interesting to see if he can keep it all together.
Kom in, Fred. going in that bolt number six is the second hardest in the round. We also know that bolt number five was Fred's best chance to make it in the semis. So at this point, we just hope that Fred can enjoy the process, give everything that he has left to give on the mats, and then the outcome will be what the outcome will be. I feel like when I dropped the fifth top, uh, at that point I'm probably out of semis. I should have rather like uh, just used the two first minutes of that boulder, just not even doing a try, just resting. Because I, I was so like fatigued after uh, fourth boulder. I'm not that old, but uh, being a little bit older, it's uh, like um, it's more important to have fun on the competitions than actually maybe performing and I feel like the results are turning out better then as well. So it's, yeah, I'm satisfied, or, well, I'm not satisfied, but I, I'm happy. I think I'm like third to last or something, representing Sweden. I, I, <laughs> no, I went extremely poorly, actually. I, I don't think, uh, I was quite surprised, because I felt quite strong warming up, and I've been feeling okay lately, but uh, I, I felt like I moved pretty poorly. And it's so important to move well on comp holders. And uh, yeah, it didn't go fantastically, but it was fun in the end. Like it was actually a really fun format because you know I could talk to Frederick. I could like, let's go, I'll shape up and not suck anymore. Final notes, holders were sick. I had fun. I'm psyched. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just finished the final preparations for finals. Um, put up all the boulders, put up all the tapes, all the tags, made it look pretty. So yeah, now that we have 
about 30 minutes left or an hour until the competition starts. The nerves are definitely starting to be like, oh God. It's uh, such a fine balancing act to find like the exact middle, like what is, what is the right level for the, for the athletes. So now it's just, we hope that we've made good decisions and then we put our faith in the athletes to hopefully deliver the, the final performance.
It was a really good show. So close to getting the top on the last one. Oh my god. But I think as a, as a show factor, it was really good. Even though there wasn't a top, it was still like very entertaining. And it was a good fight in progression throughout the round. Yeah, it was super cool. And uh, we got car round finally. And yes, we are really happy with this. So it's just like less than one day to start the competition and we have a good feeling. I really hope that the competition will be successful and everyone will enjoy the comp and yeah. And all of us, we will be proud and happy after after this experience. And yeah, it's my first time being chief root setter for a European Adults Cup. So I really hope that it's not the last one. <laughs> Uh, do you think we're going to do all the boulders, Eric? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> fair, fair enough.